Pacific salmon are the heart of the Salish Sea. They have sustained the people and cultures of the Northwest and play a vital role in our ecology, culture, and economy. Their health is an indicator of the overall health of the Pacific Northwest environment, and in turn, our own health. But salmon, along with their relative, the steelhead, are facing a profound number of challenges in the environment that we have created. And for decades, their numbers have been declining. If we don't find solutions to their challenges and make positive changes, we could lose these iconic species. The Hood Canal is a glacier-carved fjord more than 60 miles long that offers rare, relatively pristine habitat to support salmon and their migration. Over the years, significant investments have been made to restore salmon habitat along the canal, but salmon and steelhead cannot reap the full benefits of these efforts because the floating Hood Canal Bridge is blocking their path. Up to half the young steelhead that reach the Hood Canal Bridge on their migration to the ocean do not survive past it. In order to support these crucial salmon runs, we need to find a solution to this fish passage problem before it's too late. Salmon fishing is our way of life here. We're salmon people. It gives us our sustenance, but it also gives us our commercial needs for our tribe, for me, for, for a lot of people around here on, on our reservation. It's one of the things that bring our families together. I've fished with my uncles and my cousins since I was a little kid and it's, it's so vital for, for me and it's so vital for our way of life that we have here. The Kitsap Peninsula is surrounded by Puget Sound, the Hood Canal being one defining feature of our entire county. And it's always provided for us either in entertainment, in recreation, in resources. It's just a really special place. The bridge itself is a key link to the Washington coast, to the national parks, to the people of the Olympic Peninsula. It's a key commercial corridor. We kind of thought that the bridge didn't have an effect on juvenile salmon migration. And it wasn't until Megan Moore's study was published in the mid 2000s that described a significant loss of steelhead that she had tagged that were migrating out of Hood Canal was kind of an eye-opener that, hey, the bridge might be an impact and this might be what's causing this mortality. Long Live the Kings brought this vast group of people together and from that work we determined that it's not just affecting steelhead but it's also affecting the migration patterns of Chinook salmon, juvenile chum, and coho. When they hit the pontoons of the bridge, they just basically hit a concrete wall and don't really know to go under or around the pontoons. Those delays then turn into you know, higher densities of fish at the bridge that then attract predators. And so we see a lot more predation at the bridge than we see at other areas that we've monitored, causing about a 50% mortality rate in the vicinity of the bridge. We've deployed a visual acoustic system and we could see how seals were using the structure of the bridge to forage on juvenile salmon. So basically they would use the structure to corral fish into corners or up along the side of the bridge and then feed on them. There are two mitigation strategies that we are deploying at the bridge. Um, one of them is a fish guidance structure. The idea behind the fish guidance structure is to move fish more quickly around the bridge to smooth out the corners that form these eddies and allow fish to pass the edge of the bridge. The idea is that we can somewhat reduce the amount of time that fish spend there and reduce their vulnerability to predation. The fish guidance structure is massive. It's about 15 feet that it extends down underwater. It weighs about as much as six orca whales. The other mitigation strategy that we're testing is an acoustic startle technology. It uses a sound at a very specific frequency that elicits a startle response in pinnipeds and specifically harbor seals. And that with that, we can reduce the amount of time 
the seals spend in the space along the bridge, and particularly in these problem places where we know a lot of fish uh, congregate. We're protecting them, but we need to be proactive, not be reactive, not only for the tribes, but for the people in this state and everywhere else. It's, it's vital that we, we uh, come together to make these fisheries sustainable. In a perfect world, you would have a system that allowed traffic to move back and forth, for the Navy to move their assets in and out, and for fish to move freely out of the Hood Canal. In order to recover salmon in the Salish Sea, we need to invest in infrastructure that works not only for salmon and steelhead, but also for our environment and the people who call this place home. When salmon thrive, we thrive. For more information about the solutions being implemented here at the Hood Canal Bridge, visit lltk.org.